And now, everyone, it is time for Frenchie's Corner. Get up here, you French uh, Canadian person, you. I'm trying to be PC. I, I still feel bad that I blew up, so now I'm hey, not hey, on you as much today. Bro, like I said, that's me sometimes for my employees. I'm like, I'm sorry about that. You've been annoying me for two months now. I couldn't take it no more. Uh, no, it's all good, man. Like, I get it. I get the passion. I really get the passion, and I get where you're coming from. But again, like the, the gray zones, I think – you have to catch certain gray zones and certain gray zones you shouldn't accept either, right? Why always be agreeing with? Uh, but no, bro, all good. All yeah. right, so let's go on to Frenchie's Corner. Um, for me, I wanted I wanted to switch up uh, Frenchie's Corner, like the, the, the order itself. I, I think this is one I really want to talk about first. Was San Challenge and the officials call the right one? Um, and for me... I say yes. I really thought it was three movies. I wouldn't have known the question, uh, the answer anyways, even if I knew it was two. But the, uh, for someone who studies a lot, I can understand the confusion greatly. So I say yes. Wow. I, I, I love you, man. Because uh, uh, I completely agree. Which, I, I mean, you could probably tell from my uh, talking earlier. Uh, no, I, I completely I, agree. Uh it was it was very well okay. Th there was nothing wrong with the question itself, like what it was, the information given, and the answer that it was seeking. Nothing wrong there. It was just it wasn't worded in the best way. Um, no. Is all I'll say about the question. It just it wasn't worded uh, in the greatest way. Other than that, it was a fine question. Now I had a feeling uh, you would say that, especially at the beginnings. I saw the the way you're leaning towards a bit, uh, but I know I was talking to Dagan beforehand, and I know he kind of disagrees with it. So uh, we'll put you in a spot, my friend, Dagan. I right, take take that uh, thing off. There you go. All right. So you're saying something different. What are you saying, bro? Okay. So I I have been tasked with playing the devil's argument uh, or devil's advocate argument here. Uh, and I would say that similar to what Jay was saying earlier about sort of sports and yeah, you don't get points for hitting a home run. You don't get points for nearly scoring a touchdown similar to here. Ben straight up did not know the answer. Okay. And you could look at the question the way it was worded, but if you look at that argument too, uh, drive, he said, right, this is where the confusion comes into play. Drive comma. He said grammar in this instance, necessitates a pause. So you have to pause when you say that title regardless. So there's that Yeah, but he only did it once. Ellis only did it once. And this is the process I'm putting through in, in Ben. Let's say I am and I have his knowledge skill. He has a way of, like, you know, pulling out the information out of the questions and arriving to the, the solution, the, the answer. That was completely messed up. And I think uh, Ben actually went out of character and explained his process fully for us to understand that, yeah, given the right way, all three times he would have got it or at least had a better shot of getting yes. it. It's it's the way it's the it changes the way you're thinking about what the answer could possibly be. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with the question as far as the the information given and what it's seeking to find out. It's just the way it was worded. If they would and it was said last night, if it would have been reversed as far as the other movie first and then yeah. the second movie, and you've said you know the two movies, blah blah blah, or you and, know, yeah. And, and, uh, yeah, I, I do get what you mean, Dagan, but at the same time, the, the nuances of, of how we got there is is pretty blatant because I'm sure a lot of people were confused about that uh, that answer as well, right? Yeah, and so. I get that too. I mean, but you look at the, the movie Drive, there's actually multiple movies named Drive, so he could have been confusing Drive, he said, with any of those other movies. But so to it, distinguish that it's Drive, he said, I think would have been key here uh and i i know that ellis uh kind of ran into some trouble there saying drive space he said but again there's a comma there so i i get why you would read the question that way and and, and ben straight up didn't know it he wouldn't have gotten it even if no, they had you, you, said no, no, even, even he if they said, said even he said even he said got it 
We don't know that he wouldn't have got it. And he, he said himself, right? And when he asked the question, do you think he would got it? It's like, I don't know. I couldn't get that to that road, honest. right? So even him didn't know if he would have got it or not. And I think that was sincere. He really broke out a character there. And it was his logic. And honestly, I think it was uh, nothing wrong in any parts. But again, it, it was an incredible challenge. And it shows wit. I personally think is deserving and ready to be manager because I would have never challenged it. I would have just been confused as a as a manager. I would be like, "What's going on?" Like, he straight on it. So yeah. congratulations to you, Wit. You really know what you're doing. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, one final thing I'll say about this is that uh, yeah, I, I agree. I think Wit did a great job here. But uh, even Sam Levine, if we're talking about managers, Sam Levine said that he would have made this challenge too if it was the other way. Although right. he said in the post match, he didn't think he would have won this challenge. So hmm. take that with right. what you will. All right. Thank you, Dagan, for your thoughts. We'll drop you out. Let's go to the next one very fast. You want to hear something funny? The mic wasn't on that whole time. No way. Yeah, for real. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> So smooth.